Hello everyone, my name is Mika and today I will be sharing with you guys how I got my skin to the state it is today. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you would have seen the transformation and how my skin has developed, gone up and down and up and down and how I've just landed to this point today. Obviously my skin is not perfect. All of the products that I have used have done me good or bad, but I am just going to share with you guys things that are miracle workers, things that are just done well for me and I still do have some scarring i my skin is normal it is just under more control i'm obviously no professional either i'm no skincare by hiram and no dermatologist i am just simply sharing what has worked and what has not worked for me there will be timestamps in the description box so then you can just skip through the video and get to the parts that you really want to know more about and i am wearing no makeup right now i am only wearing stuff for my eyebrows i'll be talking about things that have worked for me things that have not worked um how my skin has been over the past few years and other places other than my face where I have gotten acne including my back and my chest and my neck so basically full transparency but this video is sort of sponsored <laughs> this is like sort of my first sponsorship but um, this video is brought to you by Stylevana. They have reached out to me and sent some of the products I am going to mention, but 100% of the things I am saying are my own opinions. I don't want to give you guys bad products or products that have not worked for me personally, that have don't have similar skin types to me. But all the links to all the products that I will be mentioning in this video will be down below. And if you do order anything from Stylevana, you can use my code INF10MIKAC. It'll be on the screen right now and it'll also be on the description down below. And yeah. So yeah, let's just get this video started. So first I'm going to be talking about how my skin has affected me throughout uh, my whole life basically. So I started getting acne in like 5th grade, 5th to 6th grade, which is really early middle school-ish. Not a lot of people in my class have been getting acne and it was just not something that was kind of expected at my age, I guess. I would get a lot of acne spots and dark spots on my forehead. That was the main problem area. And I still remember like people were like, oh my gosh, Mika, what happened to your skin? with your your baby smooth skin and it's normal guys like it's all a healing process it's completely normal to have acne yeah so i started getting it in sixth grade and then it started lightening up by around eighth grade and i started learning to how to control it basically a big habit of mine was like touching my face and picking my skin because it was almost like a stress habit for me to always touch my face but then i started to stop that habit around eighth grade and it started lightening up and everything was starting to be under more control. I think one of the main reasons why it started flaring up around middle school was I did play a lot of sports. I was very active outside and I was just sweating a lot and I wouldn't be home for another like two, three hours after I was outside and I just never washed my face immediately so my pores were open and all the dirt started like getting into my skin and obviously that flared up. But then by the end of 8th uh, grade I, I did get under control but it started getting really problematic when I got into freshman year. The freshman year was the year that I went to the dermatologist I believe for the first time. So I had very problematic skin on my forehead and it started uh, showing up on my cheeks a lot and when I saw my dermatologist for the first time they only gave me a cream to use which was I believe Tretinoin it was just not doing anything for me and then I started going into um, pills so I started taking medicine for it and just to get it all under control and it did very well and it basically like cleared my skin and in addition with the cream it did lighten um, some spots but then after I stopped using it it just came back and then I decided to go back on to the medicine but then it just started not affecting me we went into like a stronger dosage but then that didn't work after that after we started the stronger dosage my dermatologist was just like okay so since the the medicine that i've been taking was the only like strongest potent thing that could make such a big difference he said that i should just ask for a new prescription every single time i start flaring up it just stopped working for me because i think my body just got used to it it started having no effects and then i was kind of on my own there during my sophomore year i believe my skin was just more spotty and honestly in my opinion it was not that bad because I've had worse but then afterwards junior year it all just started flaring up and I believe junior year to about 
senior year that was my worst moments so um it started going on to the front of my cheeks it was obviously already on my forehead and it started spreading to my neck and it was just kind of all over and i didn't know how to control it and i tried so many different products and so many different things until i went to a different dermatologist and i honestly wouldn't be at this point if i didn't go to a dermatologist and i know i am lucky enough to go to a dermatologist so if you can i do recommend to go to a dermatologist because that is the number one way to be able to get help if you can if you have access to that i know i'm very lucky and grateful to have that privilege so the dermatologist was very much more helpful i believe because i did go back on some medicine and then i got some specific treatments but in addition to that which are the products i'm going to be showing you guys that just led me to the point where i am today it took me about eight months to go from my worst to get to my best which is basically right now and this is my skin close up um about like middle school and i don't know when my skin was bad i would not be able to do this but this is what she looks like obviously still some scars but they are very much on the process of healing i do have a scar on my face from when i was a baby but yeah i'm very happy with where i am today and even though i do have some of these spots i know how, what products will work for me and how to heal them a lot faster i'm very happy with where i am i forgot to mention too i do have back knee that is very much healing i don't have any old pictures because i never liked looking at my back i just always covered it with my long hair and i never liked tying up my hair i just anything that exposed my neck or my back because i just had really bad scarring from always touching my skin So first I'm going to talk about products that are my holy grails, things that have saved me, things that I always bounce back to if I am trying a new product and it just doesn't work out. The first thing I'm going to talk about is makeup remover, but this is micellar water. So I will always, always bounce back to the simple micellar water. This is a cleansing water and it gently removes your makeup you just put it on a cotton round and just remove your makeup i love makeup i grew up really using it i used to do foundation and stuff but after seeing that my skin just wouldn't react well i really wanted to focus on my skincare and getting a nice base before before putting something on top and making it worse essentially so this was one of the things that has always worked well it has niacinamide in it and niacinamide is a savior i will talk about that later this product i don't actually use properly technically because i used to use it as a toner and i will bounce back to this as a toner if necessary it always it made my skin much more dewy much more clear i think it definitely helped lighten a lot of my scarring and just gave me a nice little glow so if you're starting to want to get into toner i use this as a toner because it just has nice ingredients that are already beneficial to your face that you don't really necessarily need to just remove your makeup to remove remove my makeup now i use the i don't even know what it i think it's called clean and zero cleansing balm from vanilla and co and this is the first one i bought and it comes with like a little spatula but when you open it as you can see i am very much low because it has served me well and there's a lot in here and it's a pretty good value it just melts all the makeup away all the dirt oil gunk and then you can rinse it off i know a lot of people use this for double cleansing but i just use it to remove my makeup whenever i wear my makeup and then one of the products that i don't have on hand because i just ran out and i am trying a new cleanser that i'll show you guys later it's the cerave foaming cleanser the foaming cleanser and the sa cleanser have worked really well for me i prefer i believe i prefer the foaming cleanser i don't really see too big of a difference when i changed which one i use but the sa cleanser is always sold out so i was like i can't rely on something when i don't know if i'm gonna have it when i run out so i just switched to the foaming cleanser which works really well and cerave is cerave cerave it is a skincare line that is very affordable and they're very transparent about their ingredients so i definitely recommend to check out some of their stuff if you guys are looking for more affordable skincare because there are brands that you should probably avoid like cetaphil is i know a common one that everyone uses when they first start getting into skincare but i think that if you're gonna think about cetaphil definitely look into cerave because i used to use their cleanser in like middle school and i was just like i don't 
like it. I just don't like the texture. I don't like what it's doing for my skin. It didn't really do anything for my skin. And I was just like, I feel like I'm just doing it just to do it, to wash my face. I started noticing more results when I started switching. I am obsessed with serums. It's more specifically the Ordinary Serum, the Hyaluronic Acid, and Niacinamide. These are all my empties. And then I upgraded to the bigger one. I didn't realize how small these are compared to the bigger ones you can buy from Sephora. These ones have worked so well together. I use the hyaluronic acid in the morning and then the niacinamide at night. Whenever I forget a step in my skincare routine, especially these two, I can definitely notice a difference in the morning and I just look more dull and tired and my skin just doesn't have its best moments basically if I forget these. So these are definitely essential in my skincare. I started using the niacinamide and I was like, I don't know what everyone's talking about. This isn't really working for me. If anything, it, it just like didn't do anything for me until I started using it with the hyaluronic acid because both of them together made my skin more glowy, much more bouncy, and people were starting to notice a difference in my skin. Another one of the empties I have very much emptied, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. As you can see, I've gone through three of these. I am on my fourth one right now. This was something that I started to use, but then I stopped using because this one is a little pricey for a drugstore, but it is because it really works. It works so well because there is hyaluronic acid in this and it's just a Hydro Boost water gel and gel moisturizers always make my skin more glowy and I just really rely on this one. If you are looking for an affordable option, still look into CeraVe, CeraVe, I don't really know how to pronounce it. I just really like water gels, any gel form because I just, it really absorbs into my skin and really makes it much more glowy and afterward, uh, as an extra step, I will just put sunscreen on top because I know it retails for like $26 at most, which is really expensive for a moisturizer and especially since it's in like a tub you have to control how much you use but if you look into like amazon if you look into sam's club even you can find them for like really cheap and go down to like 14 dollars or like two for 26 always try to find them at a lower cost because these are expensive but they are a savior in my skincare routine now for times i do want to boost my skin anytime i notice that my skin is just like sad i will use a clay mask and clay masks always save and rejuvenate my skin and just kind of refresh and restart everything. The clay mask that I use currently is the Super Matcha Pore Clean Clay Mask and honestly any clay mask will work for me. I don't really like ones that have strong fragrances because sometimes my tear- my tears- my, my eyes can tear up. This one is the Burt's Bees Detoxifying Clay Mask. As you can see it is run flat but this one is very effective but it does have a more potent scent to it. Another one I've tried is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid Mask and salicylic acid is very good for any um, acne prone skin. Honestly, I'm not like a huge fan of this, but I will use it every so often because I don't think it's very good for sensitive skin because it runs really thin and it's not thick and it just, I don't know, it kind of stings. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but out of these three, I would definitely use the super matcha one because it comes with a whole lot and it has like a little spatula and it feels like a true clay mask. And then along with that, I have the the BHA peeling amp ampule? Ampule? From B Plain. It's exfoliating oil control. Whenever I do a clay mask, I will additionally use this with the serums because it's an extra boost and I just notice my skin is a lot better the next day and it kind of hits the restart button. And then these. These pimple patches that you guys have heard me talk about so many times is they're like changing. They're the All Care Recovery Seek Aid Soothing and Anti-Scar Pimple Patches. Scarring is one of the biggest problems for me because I and tanner anytime i get a pimple or anything it will evidently leave a scar so these are saviors and anytime i do touch my skin and i do scab it it's open i put one of these over it and it'll basically help it'll basically help boost the healing process a lot faster and my spots aren't as dark as they would be without these so those are basically some of the holy grails that i will always bounce back to i will always rely on if something goes wrong within new products that i am currently trying and putting into the cycle of my skincare routine 
So the next products I'm going to talk about are ones that have recently worked for me and things that I have noticed big changes in and I will try to continue using them and see how they work for me in the long term. These are ones that I've used for about like two to three weeks. You guys have seen me talk about this in one of my Yes Style videos, but this is the Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. This one I really love. After I started using these, people have been like, oh my gosh, Mika, your skin is clear. You're literally glowing right now. I love this, but the reason why it's in this category is because this is the first actual toner I have used and it's worked really well. I don't know if it's just because I've added a toner into my skincare routine. Also got a hyaluronic acid in it, hyaluronic, whatever the hyaluronic ingredient is. I really love it. As you guys can tell, it just made my skin a lot better. It, one of the essential ingredients I always look for in skincare. Next is essence. I've always wanted to incorporate essence into my skincare routine. I did get from Stalvana. They sent me this one. This is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Rose Essence. I really like it. I used this after I went to Adventure Island with my friend. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got a little tanner around the edges of my face, but I also got a little bit burnt, so my skin was just patchy and a little bit peeling, and I tried this, and it just help replenish my skin and kind of restart because it was just very peely and then wearing masks and rubbing it I was just like I, I need to fix this. This very much helped. Okay so for the current cleansers I use, I use the Matcha Hydrating Foam Cleanser from B-Lab and it's a pH balance soothing foam cleanser. I just started using this. I'm pretty sure I will continue using this but I really like foaming cleansers a lot more than gel cleanser. Don't know why. I think I read somewhere if you have more oily skin you're supposed to use gel cleansers and if you have dry skin you're supposed to use foaming cleansers but foaming cleansers just work a lot better for me that's just from my experience and then this one is something sent me from Stalvana as well it's the unit centella bubble foam cleansing foam and you're supposed to use this after you use your normal cleanser so this is like double cleansing on top of the if I wear makeup the vanilla and co uh, cleansing balm I also use this after I got sunburnt and it definitely helped relax my skin a lot more. I was just very pink afterwards and very peely like I said and this just helped restore my skin to its natural state. And this last portion, I'm going to be talking about products that I am going to basically start using and start seeing how they work for me. I have a, another foaming cleanser. Oh, it started raining. Here's Elsa. I said, it was literally sunny when I started filming this, but yeah, sorry if you can hear the rain. I'm gonna try to talk over it. Wow, it just got really bad all of a sudden. Anyways, the next product I'm going to be talking about is from Makeup Prem. It's their Rice Biome Bubble Peeling. I've only used this once, but I will leave a link down below if you guys want to try another bubble peeling cleanser. It does help remove dead skin cells and helps skin sm stay smooth and hydrated. And like I said, I really like bubble cleansers. I really like any foaming I also really like the packaging. It's really sleek and smooth and it comes with a lot. The next product I want to try is this PHA12 purifying liquid. I like that it has the listed concern and the benefit. The concern says dead skin cells and sebum and benefit skin clarifying and it's very liquidy. I thought this would be like a serum but I'm thinking about trying this in comparison to the am ampule. ampule. Anything that says like BHA, AHA, I always try because it's more targeted for like, I believe it's another term for salicylic acid and it just really helps calm down my acne and just to prevent flare-ups but yeah I've only used this once so I don't really have too much of an opinion on it all of the Korean skincare products I have used definitely look into skincare from Korea because their ingredient list is literally amazing all of the products that you would see in America that would be like oh my gosh we have this in it it's a normal thing to find in any skincare product in Korea so it's really easy to find the ingredients that you really need and anything that's unnecessary like fragrance and stuff. It's very unlikely that you'll find it in Korean skincare. Next is sunscreen. The sunscreen I used before, which is from Etude House, I did not like it. It made my skin very peely and I, I think it was just because I was also sunburned, but I just didn't really like it. It made my skin feel dry and just not 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 the greatest so i have the vt cosmetic cosmetics cushion sunscreen it has spf 50 and i really like the packaging you basically get like this little sponge i love the idea of just like reapplying sunscreen i basically apply it like 
this because it's very important to reapply sunscreen because when I did get sunburned, I thought that my entire body was fine. I did not get sunburned there, but my face, well, I didn't think that was going to be the problem after um, Adventure Island and all the water slides and stuff, but I really like the idea of the compact and reapplying it and I don't have too much of an opinion on this because I just started using it and replacing it, but I do think it is doing better than the sunscreen that I used before. And lastly, the last product I'm going to talk about is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It is their berry one. Salvana sent me this and I got the sample from Sephora, but I never used it. It was like the birthday gift and I started using this one and I really like it. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like candy, like a nostalgic strawberry smell. It's basically like a balm at you that you put on at night night and I've never tried lip mask before so I don't really have too much to say about it but it comes with like a little spatula thing and a little container that you can use so then you can apply it. I kind of overline it over my lips at night just so that the corners of my mouth aren't dry and everything is just moisturized before I go to bed because at night I believe around the hours of like 12 to 3 that's when your skin is really soaking in all the skincare that you put in and that's when you should probably be asleep but I am not asleep sometimes at that hour. Whatever you put on at night, just know that that's the point where your skin is really gonna be soaking everything in and so I think lip masks, the idea of them are really good because you're not gonna be eating anything or maybe you're midnight snacking but that's when your skin is not interrupted by anything like the sun so I think that's great and I feel like I noticed a little bit of a tint. I'm not really sure. I think my lips just got a lot more even because there used to be like really tan on the outsides and I think this just help even it out. I'm not sure if that's just like placebo effect or anything but I really like it. I'm gonna continue using it because who doesn't want soft lips? So those are all the skincare products that I use and I was just honestly I was just like hopeful throughout the whole experience and obviously I'm still on that journey who knows if it'll flare up again it's just a whole process especially with being a teenager and hormones and being a girl your period and know that it is normal to have acne it's normal to have it on your face your back your neck anywhere and it's nothing you should be embarrassed about no one should be shaming you for it you will get to a better position and that it is a whole healing process there are people out there that will help you and get you to a better place just know it is okay you will get better you'll get about yourself and you're gonna be glowing and you're gonna be very happy with the state of your skin it's gonna be very much worth it in the end after all the trial and error I have been very insecure about the things about my skin and about the state it has been in and in now honestly because now that I'm in a very much good position where I want to stay in it's definitely something that I am very worried about like not being able to maintain so just know that's normal we'll, we'll have it it's something that comes and goes so I just wanted to make this video to help you and to also help normalize talking about it because it's just a whole process and thing that I have dealed with, dealt with so I just wanted to help you guys as well so like I said Salvana did provide me with a coupon code that you guys can use use my links down below if you want to try any of the products I have used just know that if you do use any new products slowly always slowly incorporate it into your skincare routine because you don't want to surprise your face with new products and then you might just break out and it might not be even from the product it's just that you shocked your face with so many new products that you won't really be able to identify the source so always just do it one by one and always slowly incorporate it so yes thank you to Stavana for sending me some of the products I have used I wish you all luck on your skincare journey if you guys want to follow me you can follow me my links are on the bottom on my screen and if you want to follow me on my shop it is on the top of the screen i sell k-pop and anime accessories goods art and all that stuff and that's it for this video my battery is dying again i grabbed a dead battery and yeah okay